Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to disassemble a pallet without breaking it. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So that's right, that's exactly what I said. I'm going to show you how to disassemble a pallet just like this without actually breaking it because there's lots of good wood on pallets like these and they are readily available for the most part. If you want them, you can get them, usually for free or for very cheaply, for very affordable prices and it's good wood. So let's go through it and also, these are also known as skids. I worked in a few grocery stores, one main one, but a few overall for many years and I grew up calling them skids, but now it seems that everyone calls them pallets so I'm just going to call them pallets or skids. I'm going to kind of go back and forth. Now, usually if you want to disassemble this the fast way, what you can do is just get a crowbar like this and you can just pry it up, right? You can pry each of the boards up there. You should just nail it in place very, very simply, okay? But I'm going to show you that sometimes it breaks the board. So I'm going to show you a way that you can salvage as many boards as possible. Will this make sure that you don't break any board at all? No, you might still break a board, but it does give you the best chance of not breaking them. Um, because you just need to get the board pried up just a little bit, um, and then you can actually disassemble it properly. So all that you need is a, a few small pieces of wood for this. Um, I actually saw this, I can't remember where, I saw this a few years ago, I believe. Um, I saw this somewhere on social media, and I thought it was so cool that I figured I'd do a dedicated video towards it. It's part of like a life hacks kind of video as far as I can remember. So what we're going to do, but like I said, don't quote me on that because it's been a few years since I've seen it. Um, but I've used this, this method many times. So <coughs> essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get some short pieces of wood and we're going to put them right here in between this board, which is the one we're going to remove, and this one right here. So I'm going to place them just like this. And they have to be short enough that they can fit in this little gap right here. So I'm gonna, I just have two by threes. I'm going to stack two two by threes like this, okay? Very simple. They're stacked like that in there. And I'm going to get an additional board over here. And this is a two by four, and I'm going to stack it vertically. Now, it doesn't really matter which way you stack them, as long as they are um, slightly raised um, above the ground, and they're relatively even. So two two by threes stacked flat and then one two by four stack upright, they're about the same height, okay? Now I'm gonna get an additional piece of wood and I'm gonna slide it essentially underneath the board that I wanna remove, okay, but on top of the stacked pieces of wood. So I'm gonna lift the wood up, I'm gonna slide it underneath that board, but on top of the stacked pieces of wood. So essentially, this board is underneath this piece of the pallet, but it's on top of the wood. Now what I'm gonna do, as I'm going to hit this end, because now it's elevated off the ground a bit, I'm going to hit this board right here a couple times, um, and I'm going to hit it so that I can loosen the, this board over here. Now you can use like a piece of wood like this if you don't want to damage that even, even more so, right? So give it a few hits. Now, it's actually raised up. So now there is a gap. So what I can do at this point is I can get my crowbar, and I, so I can slide it right in there. I don't even need to hammer it. Right, I can slide it right in there, and I can slowly start prying up the board. Now, here's the key. If you want to disassemble it without breaking anything, you need to do it slowly. If you try to do it too fast, then if you're going to have some problems. It's going to break the wood. Now, I can actually remove this board at this point. I can remove this piece of wood right here and these because I don't need them anymore for this side. Okay, now I will tell you, you can do it much faster if you're not explaining it, but because I'm explaining it, it is taking me a little bit longer. So right now, I'm prying this board up, and I'm doing it slowly, side to side, kind of rocking back and forth, so that I don't damage the board. Now this side is up completely, okay? This side is up completely. So what I'm going to do now, you have a few options. You can raise up the middle over here, so I can go ahead and I can pop up the middle, right? Which I can do that but I risk damaging the board. Or what I can do is I can remove this other side over here, okay? Do the same thing with this other side, then do the middle. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side over here, just like this, okay? Put those pieces of wood over there, get a better view now, I believe. Okay, get a piece of wood over here, and then slide this one underneath this board that I wanna lift up. You wanna try and get as close to the end as possible. That'll give you the best um, ability to 
to lift it up. And then I'm going to just hammer this part right here. Now, like I said, you can put a piece of wood there if you want to salvage this. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to, I'm going to go and give this skit away, this pallet away anyways. I'm just doing some video tutorials on it. I got a vanity on here. I use the vanity, I'm using the skid for some videos, and then I'm gonna go give it away to someone who can use it for a woodworking project, okay? I'm gonna hammer this a few times. Okay? Now we're gonna see if it's raising up. We should be able to raise this up a little bit. We just need to raise it up a bit, okay? There we go, we got a little bit of a gap there now, just a little bit of a gap. So now we have a gap, I can feel the gap right there. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna remove this wood over here. Let's, I can leave this under here, I mean, it's not doing anything. What we're gonna do now is we're going to lift these up over here, okay? So I'm just gonna give this a couple of taps. I have a little bit of a gap over here, so I'm gonna start on this side, okay? Prop this board up just a bit, just a little bit. You want to do this slowly. If you want to preserve the wood as much as you can, you want to do this slowly, okay? That's the key factor here. Slowly. If you do it too fast, you're going to crack the board and your pallet, your skid, will be destroyed. So, like I said, if I wasn't explaining it, I probably would be able to do this a lot faster. But I'm just trying to, you know, get the point across of how to do it without damaging it. Slowly, see the board is slightly cracking over here, and that is because I'm trying to go a little bit too fast, and I gotta do this side over here. If I can do this side, I can save the board, which I believe. There we go. So I can pry it up a little bit now, just like that. Okay? So essentially, at this point, the main goal is we want to do without damaging. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna finish up. I'll kind of explain along the way, but just follow along. I'm gonna just make my way closer and closer to the middle. Okay? And I don't want to break the board. I do see a little bit of breaking, but that's, you know, it is fairly normal for that to happen a little bit. You know, you want to avoid it if you can, right? If you can avoid it, you want to try and avoid it if possible, okay? And another tip is to actually get the crowbar underneath the nails. Instead of just prying up the wood, you want to pry up the nails completely. So now I'm prying up the nail on this side, right? Don't just pry up the wood. You want to pry up the nail, um, not just the wood by itself. So I'm going to pry up this nail as well over here. And another quick tip is that essentially it all depends. There we go. It all depends on the condition of the board and how well it was nailed into place. Sometimes you find these things and they're like barely holding on by a thread. Those are the ones you want to get. I mean, this wood quality is absolutely fantastic. Um, but it is held in really secure. So now this side is up, this side is up. I just need to get the middle up. Now we have a few options here. Okay, we could do the same thing sort of that we just did if we hammer along the bottom using the wood props. But uh, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna try and just get this up because it's already mostly up. So I'm gonna try and pull these nails up like this. Now, like I said, I know it seems like a tedious process, but if you see, if you get a pallet, here we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at the quality of this wood over here. Look at this. There's barely any cracking in it, okay? Look at this, absolutely astonishing. Now, if you get these for free and you devote a night, one night to taking apart all of the, the pieces of wood on a skit, to disassembling all of them, you can end up with a big pile of wood in a matter of a couple hours, and if you, if I wasn't explaining it, I could have probably done this whole thing in about a minute and a half, maybe, to pry off this board. You do the whole skid, you, you, know, you figure out how many, you figure out how many pieces of board are on there, and, and you end up, let's say, taking 10 to 15 minutes to disassemble an entire skid when, you, when you're in the swing of it, right? So that's it. Like, as you can see, we would just be repeating this with all of the boards along the way. That's it. I mean, I'm not going to show you how I disassemble every board. It's the same thing. Obviously, you're going to remove the nails. You're going to take the nails out of it. But as you can see, look at this. Just to show you, look at this. Look, you got a little bit of cracking over there. Just a tiny little piece right there. But there, that's gone. Done. Like that. And that's how to disassemble a pallet without breaking, without ruining it. Just make sure you're careful because there are nails. Make sure you remove the nails. You dispose of them appropriately. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one.
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.